YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Dave the Diver. Today, we're gonna chill with some Dave the Diver. I had a really good day, so I thought, why not just record some Dave the Diver? Because I want to finish the series before the Phasmo update launches, which is gonna be very, very soon. We don't have an exact date, but they said at the end of July, which is literally right now. So yeah, we got some work to do. I think there's seven chapters total. We're on chapter five, so we gotta work it out for us. It's gonna be fun. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, I think I had to abruptly leave at the end of the last episode. So I'm a little lost where we are. The crops have grown apparently. Okay, so what do we got going on? Uh, we got a VIP. Oh yeah, we got the like Chinese cuisine VIP or something. And we need to cook like some specific dish. That's not even on our menu, like some weird Chinese dish rather than just sushi. And then we also got the swordfish festival or sailfish festival or something. And we're looking for this fish as well. There's a lot going on, as you can see. First of all, uh, we're going to start apparently with a night shift, which is great stuff. Uh, thank you past me for leaving me this lovely, uh, lovely restaurant shift because i love doing the restaurants like my favorite part of the game because you just make so much money and we got a lot of harvesting to do look at all our chickens by the way we got so many damn chickens hello chickens <laughs> we actually yeah we got the max one two three four five we got the max of of black chickens you cannot have more than five of the same chickens i think these lay super eggs 70 percent of the time you need to remove all weeds i do not see a weed it's pretty dark but i don't see it uh we got this as well. We can make so much vegetable sushi here, but we need to replant it too. And this has truly turned into <laughs> freaking Stardew Valley over here. Oh man, I hate that this is out of sync because it got hit by uh, an insect one time. Okay, let's see. We're gonna place some garlic. We're gonna place three garlic. We're gonna place three wheat. And then one eggplant, and then the rice will just auto-expand itself. Uh, eggplant goes here. Welcome, by the way, to back to the lovely series that is Dave the Diver. It's fun to have some... I think we're gonna, like, I mean, we've been doing this mostly for, uh, for a while now, but having, like, a, a series running in the background besides streaming, because it allows me to just, like, sometimes when I'm just like feeling to play some games, but I don't want to like, but I also want to work. I can play some of the Dave the Diver or whatever series we could go in at the time. The other game that's the most requested by far, that's my most requested game is Darkwood, which is apparently very similar to um, Project Zomboid. That might be the next off stream series. Let me know what you want. Let me know what you want to see. Cause we are, I mean, I, I'm not, I don't want to give you any like, uh, oh no, it's the last week of vacation. We're going to have to go back to school kind of <laughs> vibe. We're still got a lot of Dave the Diver going. Don't worry about it. You don't have to think about it ending yet. What do we got going on here? Oh yeah, we have new dishes for the festival. Uh, we get to do this. I think I kind of want to do the seahorse dish. Yeah, look at that. I can make this so many times. Holy shit, I'm taking that. And it's expensive as shit, too. Yes, please. Oh, he's gonna do his magic. <laughs> Freaking fire. There we go. Um, and then what are we gonna put in the menu? Also, is our staff still working? We got everyone getting uh, ingredients. Very good. Look at our absolutely insane staff here. <laughs> 2470, 345. Goodness gracious, and then you got 320 and 290. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about them. We also, dude, we got this guy. Oh, yeah. Wait, we should try and get this guy. You're so cheap. You're 120. You're 2000. Damn, these people know what they're worth, huh? Um, we're gonna put on the menu. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, we were about to go crazy. Uh, we got far too much here. We should upgrade 600. Yes. <laughs> fucking salt bay every time um we still need to get, figure out how to get a 250 happiness rating on one of our foods um maybe it's gonna be this one it's increasing it by 22 we would have to level this up to level six to get it that high and then we might not even have it i think we're gonna have to wait for a better dish like these dishes just you can't just not level them up high enough 
Uh, look at this. And you make six plates over here. You can see how many plates per dish. We get six dishes per one plate and we can make it nine times. Holy shit. Uh, and they're $600. That's insane. Okay, so we're going to put this on the menu. Check. Uh, we're gonna put I think we'll put this on the menu one time and then auto refill it Or do we level it up one more time? I think I'm the oh wait. It also increases the amount of dishes. Wait a minute. I'm leveling it up one more time And then if we would to, were to upgrade it again, it still wouldn't be enough, but holy shit would it be expensive? Uh, we'll throw it on there once and then I think we'll auto look at these dishes. They're six hundred dollars. These things are so expensive. Dude, people come here to absolutely get broke. Um, sure, we'll upgrade it one time. I think we'll upgrade it twice, and then we can not make it too many more times. But we just need more uh, black vinegar. That'll be fine, right? No, don't upgrade it more. Throw it on there. We want to only fill the menu with expensive stuff. Uh, which I think we are making a little bit too much expensive. Oh, this is also six dishes per... Okay. Uh, this might be like almost too much already. I think we'll throw this on here. And then I think we'll actually just auto supply all of this. And that's our dinner. That's our dish for tonight. I know I have like so many unused slots. But if I fill up the rest, they're going to take precedent over our most expensive dishes. So I think I'm just going to roll with this. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, open Banjo Sushi and get all the money. Because we can sell this six times. And that's a large plate. And they're going to eat it all by themselves. These people are crazy. Anyone want a drink? Anyone want a drink? Here I come. Come with a drink. I'm the only one who can do drinks. You can level up your staff that they can do drinks as well. But I haven't been able to do that yet. Oh, God. You're going to get angry. Yes, yes, yes. Run! Got him. Let's go. And we need to do the wasabi too. And we need to do so much bear. Dude, this is the the, the real the real stress of, <laughs> of working in a restaurant. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go for the beers because those are just more expensive. So we just make more money. Than if we were to do the green tea. Okay, that's fine. We only missed two dishes. Wait, they literally get up and leave if you don't give them beer? What the hell, dude? Holy shit, look at our income. This is wild. We still got stuff to sell. We still got a few hours left. No one is getting asking for anything. I need to just refill this. Holy shit. Dude, this is a regular day and we're getting this much money. Absolutely wild. I think I still like kind of wasted a bit of sushi, but it can't be too much, right? Perfect. No foam at all perfect beer oh no the other person is gonna get mad about my beer can i please it's gonna be bad whatever go why did you it takes so long for the waiting the end for the animation to finish okay was it our best day i think it was and we start up oh. best there you go Seventeen thousand. we made eight thousand just off this tropical fish this is our our freaking winner dude this is the most insane dish. I'm taking a screenshot of that bad boy. Uh, look at our expenses. We're just making an insane net profit. Imagine 17,000 a day. Holy shit, 8,000 just from that dish alone though. There you go. Um, yeah, we really need a better dish. I mean, maybe we could just focus purely on that. We need a lot of rice for that. You know what? If we need a lot of rice for that, I think we should expand our melting glacier, but you were chapter six. Wait a minute. Oh, it's also VIP day. Hello. Got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> this guy's so fun, man. Hey, Dave, is everything going well? Um, I opened the passage to the glacial area, but I can't explore the area because it's too cold. Oh, your current suit is not warm enough, I see. So the sea people gave me this cloth, but I don't know how to use it. The cloth is warm to the touch. This is the breathing apparatus found in the sea people's cave. I could make a cold resistant suit if I have a mechanical part that can patch up the items mechanical part don't you have one from john watson's suit you're right actually i brought some complex mechanical parts this is a device that automatically adjusts water pressure i may be able to do something with this but it's too damaged to be used without repair only if you could find an in one intact somewhere oh i have a good idea what is it i will tell you later in the evening i need to organize my thoughts haha -ha, i have a bad feeling about this okay 
I love the the rainy sunrise man. Oh my god, it's this guy. Is there gonna be a boss? Uh, is this gonna lead up to another stormy night for another boss? Hi there, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a new greeting sound? Nope, it's from the new game I am playing these days. What game are you playing? It's Giao. A game raising digital fish. <laughs> you feed them and keep them happy and they grow and mutate. That sounds somewhat familiar. What's better is, it is linked with Marinka. When you get grown-up fish, you can unlock a Marinka. Oh, that's awesome. Why don't you try it yourself? I shared the app with you using share with a friend. With enough patient luck and passion, you will be able to collect all Marinkas. Choo-choo. This guy's amazing. Wait, what did I just get? Yao? Yao is a digital fish that keeps you company in your mobile phone. <laughs> Feed it and make it happy, and you can see it mutate into a variety of new creatures. Take care of your digital fish. If Giao falls ill, give him a shot. Also remember to turn off the light at night so that he can have a good night's sleep. Dude, they're adding... <laughs> you never know what to expect in this game. If a warning icon shows up, check his hunger and affection levels. If there's no issue, but he's still calling you, some discipline might be necessary. If you go to options and turn off notifications, turn on notifications, you get updates about the status of Giao even without turning on your smartphone. Make sure to check on him. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Fishman, is that... Where's Giao? Is this him? Oh, no, this is the, the special fish we're looking for. And there's so many. What the hell is this guy? Uh, is it in Marinka? Wait, where the fuck is this? Am I blind? I'm not seeing it. It said it was linked to my phone, no? Marinka? Is it over here somewhere? Yeah, oh, here we go. Um, how do I, how do I, how do I do anything with this? Um, I don't think I got a Giao. I think I need to get one of these first and then I can grow mutated fish. You can grow a mutated shark that's like shiny and stuff. Goodness gracious, there's so much stuff. Uh, but yeah, look at this. We are incredibly high when it comes to... Yeah, we got two, 362 of 200 followers. But we don't have enough best taste. We just need to... I guess we gotta upgrade that one dish, which means we need a lot of rice. So first of all, before we do anything else, go to the farm. Um, we should also check the farm in the Sea People Village. Um... Harvested eggs. We got four normal eggs and one grade A egg. Nice. Good stuff. I like that I don't have to pick them up myself uh, as well. That's very convenient. Um, I'm going to expand rice patty for 7,000. Got to go for it, man. This is our, this is our, like, our main bestseller. Um, then we need... I think I kind of want to go crazy, man. I think I want to go a little cuckoo mode and just keep expanding here. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to leave it at because we already make so much here. Although the rice, the, the vegetable sushi is insanely good as well. I I think this is the best. I mean, it's a big investment. We just spent like almost all the money we, we made yesterday. But hey, you got to be like Mr. Beast. You got to reinvest. Otherwise, you don't never get 100 million subscribers. Uh, What the hell? My wonderful rice field. Rice field expanded to maximum. Look at that. Achievement. Uh, we should really check our fish because we got so many. Also, by the way, we are, it's, the game's called Dave the Diver. I haven't even gone into the water yet. Been going for 15 minutes. Welcome to Dave the Diver late game <laughs> where you just do so much crazy shit all the time. Okay, we're going to leave the tuna in here, but we need to get uh, these out of here. That as well as this. I think these fit, no, because these are for my, um, for my special dish. These as well, I think. Is this already good? It's nine. Ah, I think we gotta. I think these are just not it. I don't think I have a good dish for this. I'm sorry. You're going. You're going. Uh, you're definitely going. You don't even need to be here. You don't even need to be here. I don't think I need a dish with this guy. And then the rest stays. Good shit. We got so much fish that we're not even using, by the way. Oh, man. Wait, these have got to get out of here. Way too many barracudas. Are you kidding me? Get them out of here. I think I'm going to leave two just for now. The white trevally. I'll take out all the special meat. Um, You don't need to be here. Big eye trevally. I think I have a dish with this guy. 
Uh, spotted jellyfish, that's the one for the... For the special dish. And then these guys are for the... Our, our best seller. We're gonna leave four in there, just let them multiply. Um... I think that's fine. Yeah, 43%. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> this is insane. Why do I, I... I'm... This is ridiculous. I have to... I make too much money. I'm too successful. I'm suffering from success. I got far too many fish. I don't want these Cleones in here. Get them out of here. Uh, you don't need to be here. You... We got a frilled shark in here. Look at that terrifying creature. I'll leave him there. Maybe, maybe we can get another and then let them multiply. Uh, I should check if I can upgrade my gun as well, by the way. Uh, peacock squid. There's a lot of peacock squids in here. I mean, there's not... There's still 60% base, so I'll just leave them. Um, this one's almost full. Oreo! Nice. We got those multiplying now, which is good. Um, and there's like one of each. I definitely want just a more eel to multiply, so I'm just going to take out everything else. I don't really care about anything else. Uh... There. Okay, good stuff. Get us out of here. We want to fish. That's why this is like why the game's called Dave the Diver. <laughs> but man, that was a successful, successful endeavor. Okay, uh, weekly fishing. Oh yeah, we need to find this fish, a horn parrotfish. Capture near boat wreckage. Also, we can upgrade our underwater rifle. Get out of here. Um to be a tranquilizer rifle. Look at that. We need a cuttlefish skin fragment. That's what we need. And then we can upgrade this 40% chance of instant tranquilization. That's, I think, what I want to go for. Anything else I can upgrade? I don't even got the basic. Well, I guess I could upgrade the basic one. Um, I could make the lightning rifle. I could make that one. 15% damage to one nearby. I don't think so. I think we're just gonna run with the tranquilizer gun. It's been our go-to for now Do I have it equipped? Uh, it is equipped. Okay. Well, here we go. Finally get in the water. I think we are good. We just need to find um, So it's D-Day for this. We already got everything for the Chinese cuisine, so we're good Did I have my Did I put uh, Fertilizer on the farm? I hope I did because the farm is like our main money maker right now. It's actually crazy. It's disgusting how much money that shit makes. Give me an upgrade immediately. I mean, I guess we just keep getting more um, seahorses as well. Because we have a pretty good seahorse dish. We just need more black vinegar. So oh, I should have checked if I could have bought the tuna thingy, but it's fine. Um, we need to send our dispatchers to get more to, to get more black vinegar. I think, if I remember correctly. There's so many dishes in this game, it's just fucking crazy. Uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about these guys for now. We're just going straight to this shipwreck because we really need to find that hornfish because I'm pretty sure this is the last day we can do it. Um, I won't, don't want it, but I will disassemble. We can also go into our moat thing here. I wish you could see... This is what we have in... Um, in our restaurant. Look how much we got. We got 85. <laughs> Too much. I'm, I'm glad that I don't think meat in this game spoils because if it did, I would have been wasting so much food here. Oh, hey, there you are. What the hell? Fishmon found. Okay, now we gotta go. Oh, God. I don't have. Uh oh. Uh oh. You can't be attacked? What the fuck do I gotta do with you? Maybe in the butt? No. Uh, maybe stun him? That doesn't even work. Okay, stun him. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Okay, maybe I... What? <laughs> What's going on? Ah! Shoot him in the butt. Okay, you can't hit him in the butt. You just gotta... <laughs> oh god, this guy's gonna be so annoying. Let him hit a wall. And shoot him. I can only shoot him once. Okay, well this is gonna take a while. If only I had an actual gun instead of this garbage. Oh! That's it. Another fishmon. What are you talking about? Another fishmon. This is your first fishmon, you weirdo. Also, I should move over here. So you can see the weight and stuff. Nice. Good stuff. We did our, our mission. Now I kind of want to go 
there were two sea urchins on top of each other. Um, now I kind of want to go to the Sea People Village to see that farm in action, but maybe we need money. Or we probably need Sea People money, which we can go to the, the Sea People Casino <laughs> and just... This game is absolutely bonkers, man. If you If you don't know this game from the beginning, or if you've seen, like, the first episode and then you hop into this one, you're like, what the hell? Sea People Casino? What are you talking about? There's so many things in this one. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm gonna chat ah, fuck. Go for it. Go for it. Give me oxygen. Nope. Stupid Moro eel. You guys never sleep, huh? You're out during the night and you're being annoying during the day. I don't need you guys. Because I got infinite meat of that, which that is actually part of my special dish, right? We need these fellas. Although, I think we already have enough of these anyway. Well, I'll also take you, I guess, apparently, because you're just fucking attention whore. Get out of here. Boom. Okay. There. I think we need the blue one. The Harlequin, whatever the hell they're called. Ah, the frick. This guy. Holy shit, look at that bad boy. <laughs> he is large and in charge. Oh, no. Okay. Nice, nice juke idiot. You juked yourself. I don't want to deal with you anyway. Why are you guys all on top of each other? Hey, come on, fall asleep. Don't go too far. I don't want to be attacked by that guy again. Okay, we're, we're going crazy with that. These guys also make a... Ah, oh, fuck. Make a good dish. I feel like we're, we're becoming more and more efficient at identifying what we actually need. Although, I mean, that's the thing. Because they allow you... Oh, fuck you. Uh, oh, that's what we need. I don't want to kill you, dude. I want to live and let live. Oh, no. He's going crazy. Help, help, help. I don't know what I just got. I got a level three advanced whatever the hell. Press the space bar. Press the space bar. Oh, he's going. <laughs> he keeps hitting a wall and going unconscious like an idiot. I'm out of here. Is that the more blue fish? No. Uh, this. Don't mind. I will now get more of these. I know this is like the one fish. I just... Oh, let's go. Okay, I definitely can't. Ah! Oh! Get absolutely juked. Didn't even... Didn't even worry about it. Well, there you are. This is all of these... Nice. The long range. Okay. You gotta stop, man. The barracudas are too annoying. It's fine, though. We'll just take some. I, I think I'll probably ditch those eventually. We were, we were just at 60. We can carry so much stuff. We could also spend all our money upgrade. I think I think I'm I'm making the right choice. Let me know how you're playing this game. If you are playing the game. Like if you're going for uh your own character upgrades because i feel like i prioritized my own character upgrades for a while life's okay i really I, I saw it guys you can stop letting me know in the comments that i missed it <laughs> we're in the limestone cave let's go we made it Woo! because i i've been missing that it says limestone cave this whole time which means we can get sea grape so apparently you can um you can put sea grape oh fuck in the um in the sea people farm which is making me real excited because that sounds like it's gonna be an infinite money glitch because that shit's so expensive please do not push me over there thank you another one okay stay out the way these guys yes hello friends i have come i have become death the destroyer of jellies I'm here. I want to watch Oppenheimer. Movie looks like genuinely very well made. I mean, it's Christopher Nolan. What did you expect? And I also kind of want to watch Barbie. <laughs> Is that weird? I kind of want to watch Barbenheimer, if you know what I'm talking about. They both look like interesting movies. Uh... Me these. 
I haven't been through the movie theater in so long and the, the like local movie theaters near me I'd have to go in like like a larger city or something but the movie theaters near me all like air at normal people times which means that I'm that's the time that I usually work which is like after like after six that's when all the movies air but that's when I do my live stream so I can't ever watch a movie because all the movies they play during the day is like fucking Disney princess episode 69 or whatever they don't play any interesting movies dude we're getting so much we're gonna get rich next night I'm telling you 20k 20k easy oh uh, actually we don't have rice never mind 20k not very easy but we're gonna make a lot of money because we need the rice for I want this guy I want this guy fuck I don't want this guy <laughs> okay, do we need more of those jellies net gun i don't think that's what we're going for here oh i think we already got what did we get most of sea grape i feel like we got most of sea grape right let's let's move on we can we're gonna farm it in the future you don't want to be stun locked by one area too long we got shit to do hi there more of these always oh fuck i don't have ammo there's more give me ammo I watched the Veritasium video about Oppenheimer, which was very interesting as well. Just like, uh, I, I wonder how long I'm assuming they started working on that because of the movie. It was like Veritasium is such an interesting channel because he, he really like, he's such a dad, but he's, he's like, not to be rude to Veritasium. He's doing, he's making incredible videos, but he's such a, like, want to be one of the cool kids dad kind of type i think that's what he I, it feels like to me because he just wants to make as far as i like parasocially have gathered from watching his videos and like watching the videos where he like talks straight to the camera about his life and stuff um he seems to be just a guy that wants to make like science videos but he has to like dress them up in like mr beast-esque clickbait which clickbait by the way gets such a bad rap clickbait is literally like if you're a youtuber you're a professional clickbaiter that's what i'm saying um that, that's just that's just the title because because all you're doing like the content itself is almost secondary to being able to mark it's literally completely secondary to being able to market the content like i have a good example of this uh, literally from my own experience. I know I'm going all over the place, by the way. I was talking about Veritasium, now I'm talking about other shit. Uh, welcome to Dave the Diver. This is where we chat about life and stuff. Uh, and about... A very expensive fish dish and large fish! Help! <laughs> I hate it here. Um, so. I uploaded the video of Scrutinized. And it got instantly... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It got instantly copyrighted. I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> what is going on? Dab. Dab. He's going crazy with it. Oh my God. Please. I just want this. I just want this. I just want this. I just want this. Ah, this cat food. It's high quality cat food. We need to give it to the baby. We need to give it to the baby. This is, this is of utmost importance. All right. You dash, get out of the way. I will finish my story, don't worry. Ah! Oh boy. Wait, I need skulls too. Give it to me. Please, Megalodon, get out of my face. I do not want to deal with you. Go that way. So, I uploaded Scrutinized. It got immediately copyright struck, so I uh, had to take it down. And, like, cut out the audio. Like, you can... Like, YouTube is such a big company, yet they cannot create proper tools for their, um, for their creators. It's actually fucked up. Like, it used to be the case. I am literally the worst storyteller of all time, by the way. I'm going on another tangent. But there was a while where I, or, well, I still try to read as many comments as possible. There's just too many comments now for me to read them all. Um, but I, I check them all the time. Um, 
But there was a time where I would literally read every single comment. I would sit down like four hours a day, watch comments. But if I were to keep doing that, it would take like literally six hours a day and I wouldn't get anything else done. Um, but that was when I started doing YouTube, which was like three or started seriously reading all the comments and doing YouTube was three years ago. The YouTube studio was so bad. You could not scroll further down than like three pages in the comment section or the, it would just fucking die like <laughs> the uh the youtube app would just be unable to to show you any more comments because of all the lag so i had to do it on mobile instead because mobile for some reason wasn't lagging it was so stupid luckily since now they fixed it but uh they have like a built-in editor where you can cut out parts of the video without taking the without like taking the video down re-uploading it every time i've tried it it has completely ruined everything what happens every time you try to use the editor? I saw it happen uh, literally this week to a fellow creator uh, called uh, The Outer Middle Show, who tried to do it for one of his Sons of the Forest episodes, and he got absolutely shafted by YouTube. YouTube completely desynced his audio when he tried to cut out something, and like his whole video got ruined and fucked up. Um, because he tried to use the built-in editor. So I've just given up on that. Like I've tried so many times uh, when I, when I like upload a video and I see like, oh shit, I forgot to cut out like a bathroom break or something on the, on the VOD channel or, or something similar like that. Um, I go into the editor, I cut that out and the whole video just like gets, becomes unavailable for some reason. Like it's supposed to be the opposite of that. Like the whole po point of having the editor is to, Keep the video up while you are making changes to it, but that just does not work. It is just a terrible system, so I have just given up on trying it. So, I had to take down my video. I had to take down the Scrutinized video, but it was a blessing in disguise, because the video was flopping mega hard. I think I titled it something like... I forgot what the exact title was. It was... I, I tried two titles. I tried the official Welcome to the Game that no one knows about. Um... And before that, I tried something like this terrifying man is breaking into my house or something. And the video got like a thousand views in 20 minutes, which is, 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 it wasn't flopping, but it was like, man, I'm playing this game for the first time in three years and it's getting like worse views than my average Phasmo video, which is to be expected, I guess. Um, but, and I re-uploaded it and I was like, okay, what is, a clickbait title I could give this because that's always where you're going with your brain is always like how can I clickbait this video without or like how can I how can I make the title the most appealing so I was like people like welcome to the game I know that because I've titled many videos about welcome to the game welcome to the game is absolutely terrifying without like really putting in any effort and they all did well because people just like clicking on welcome to the game videos so I was like well it's made by the exact same developer and it is the third game in a like spiritual series about sitting in a room at a computer being attacked by serial killers. So I'm just going to title the video. The th Welcome to the game three is back and it's absolutely terrifying. Similar to how I would title Welcome to the game two is back and it's absolutely th terrifying. And lo and behold, the video got double the views. <laughs> it got 2000 views in 20 minutes compared to 1,000, and it was one of 10 immediately. The video got twice as many views because the marketing was better. Now, I also got quite a few comments that were like, insane, this is not, this is not welcome to the game three, but I'm like, <laughs> of course, it is not actually welcome to the game three, but where, so my, my like moral compass for clickbait is as follows. If someone were to read a clickbait title and they were to click on it, expecting what's in the clickbait and they reach the video would they be like unreasonably disappointed and i'd say no if you because especially because scrutinized is such an unknown title where the fuck am i going by the way Appar apparently because uh, especially because scrutinized is such an unknown title and it is so incredibly similar to welcome to the game and it's like uh like uh presentation and appearance uh, that I think a lot of people that like Welcome to the Game would also enjoy Scrutinized, yet no one really gave it a chance. Uh, I think we can just leave, actually. We're full. We're full, uh, full here. I wanted to go to the Sea People Village, but we'll just do that in the afternoon. Um, so because people 
Oh, what, what am I saying here? I need to focus. Um, so, if someone were to click on the video, uh, expecting Welcome to the Game 3, and they see something very similar to what a Welcome to the Game 3 would look like, I don't think that's, like, too far out of the realm of real realism to be considered, like, bad clickbait. Because everyone does clickbait. Clickbait is literally the <laughs> fucking, the, like, blood of YouTube lives on clickbait because like it's a it's a market of attention so if you can be the one to grab people's attention you're the one making like getting the views and raking in the the rewards so to speak um so if you like if you weren't doing like if I called every one of my videos fucking game title part 16 like no one like if, if, if I titled my Phasmo videos playing Phasmophobia part 1169 like no one would click on that because who that's like the most uninteresting title of all time um so you gotta you gotta put a put a spin on it uh but you need to make your at least i try to make my titles in a way that they might not be an exact representation of the truth but if someone were to click on the video they wouldn't leave utterly disappointed because they would be like well it's similar to welcome to the game especially if you like because I think that title, Welcome to the Game 3 is back and it's absolutely terrifying, appeals mostly to people that have no idea what Welcome to the... Like, what Scrutinized is, because if you see Scrutinized and that title, you immediately know, okay, this is Scrutinized, it's not Welcome to the Game 3 that's coming out soon. Um, but if you don't know that, you're actually like, oh, this is actually kind of like Welcome to the Game 3. It's similar. Everyone, by the way, titled their videos Welcome to the Game 3 when Scrutinized came out, obviously. I don't think I did because I was an idiot YouTuber back then. Uh, but yeah, so I try. That's my very poor explanation of, <laughs> of clickbait. Hmm, <laughs> a parrotfish with a helm and horns. The readership will go crazy over this. I'm excited to see how many of the upcoming issue will sell when it's published Monday morning. When the issue's out, we'll bring you a fee for your work. Please keep up the good work. And well, if there's a fee I'm getting for this, this might be a serviceable weekend hustle. Okay. All oh, the crops have already grown? What? No. Oh, it's because, um... Um... It's because I had multiple harvests going at the same time. Yeah, there you go. Uh, he's expanding both of these things. Look at that. And my whole freaking harvest is off sync. This is disastrous. <laughs> gonna... Wait, why does weed grow so insanely fast? I literally just planted this. What? Okay, we need to we need to place. Um, here we go. Growth first fertilizer. I'm gonna get three of it. I think I need that. And then we'll just throw. Do I need more wheat? I'm just gonna throw some carrots on there and some eggplants. I think that's good enough. Oh, I've got the one too many eggplants, but that's okay. Oh, well, we can we can fertilizer all of this at once. That's pretty neat, nice of you. And then we're gonna fertilizer you. I just want to get as much out of them as possible. I guess I could also get do like a yield fertilizer, but I would need like a freaking data scientist to do like a statistical experiment on whether growth fertilizer is more money compared to uh, like yield fertilizer I, I don't know man i'm just an idiot uh let's go back to the boat we just got stuff to do i need to check if i can do the it's also raining outside how comfy to check for this uh yes you got this nice you got ammo as well i'm gonna take that too okay i love how he's still selling me stuff even though i'm making him money like, what is his purpose? <laughs> Besides getting money out of me. Also, poor beagle shark. That's a scary looking beast. Uh, I should have probably gone down to the deep PC people village, huh? There. What did I need to find? Oh, no, I needed to wait until the evening before he was going to tell me some stuff. But yeah, we can just do some more fishing. Um. Yeah, so, I mean... That's like a a rare because I upload so many videos. Like I, I don't know if you realize I upload two videos every day. It's it's pretty crazy. <laughs> Not many people have this schedule. Uh I have an insane schedule. Cause my my like mindset is that uh hi there by the way, you look crazy. Whoa! Come over here. Can I catch you? Come on. Let's go! And I can do it twice now. 
my mindset is I want to create like a hub channel. Like I used to watch PewDiePie exclusively, basically. Like every single day, I like refresh my homepage, expecting to see a PewDiePie video, and I'd watch him play some random indie game and scream at it. Um, I want, and he's no longer doing that because he's busy, he's doing his own stuff. He literally just got a child, like he's got shit to do. <laughs> um, but I want to create, because I really appreciated that. As a person, I was like, that really meant a lot to me as a child to have like this, like, I don't know. It felt like being part of something. I never commented. I never liked. I never did anything, which, by the way, if you can like the video, that's always helpful. Just saying, just saying, don't, don't have to, but <laughs> just putting that out there. Um, it like it, it felt it meant a lot to me as a child to have like the place like it, it was a, a form of consistency, like because there's so much shit happening in life all the time. The things I remember are like the we call them red lines. I don't know if that's if that's even a term in English, but we, like red lines through your life where you have like something consistent that you can always like count on and rely upon. And to me, that was like, oh, God, you piece of shit. To me, that was I don't think I can even freeze you. I don't think you fall asleep. I think you just. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was like watching PewDiePie videos every day. Uh, so for me, I want to create a similar kind of idea where it is a like hub channel where you can watch obviously other people's videos so don't don't just watch exclusively my videos um but you know that this place will always be there and there will always be something to watch because i upload far more than any sane human being can watch um as just a way of like providing people that give a shit some kind of consistency in their life like you you know what's gonna happen tomorrow but what you do know is that there will be two instant videos for you to watch if you want to watch them. That's that's the type of stuff I want to uh, I want like the type of place I want to create. Now, I do have to figure out some kind of way to <laughs> like get some free time at some point because I never have any. Because uh, I got to do some shit in life too. Like, I gotta take some steps. Because I'm kind of just, like, in a stalemate. Like, because the amount of workload I have is, have is basically perfect. Like, the amount of stuff I'm doing every day is completely feasible. I work every day. Uh, the amount of stuff I do every day is, is totally manageable. However, there's never any place for anything else. So I don't really get to uh, do other crazy stuff. Or, like, have a social life or stuff like that, you know? <laughs> Yeah, no. I mean, not that you... I thought I would have much of a social life if I had time. I know that from experience. And we're getting so much sea grape, we're gonna get insanely rich. We got the limestone cave twice in a row, by the way. Absolutely disgusting. I really need more... Um, more bullets. Wait, I have a bullet refill. Look at that. Boom. Insane. It immediately paid off. I need to get these guys. <laughs> Whee. I still got another uh, sensor bomb as well. But yeah. And I know people appreciate it. Like, because I know... I sure as hell appreciated PewDiePie doing it. Uh, and I never, like, vocally thanked him for anything. Besides, like, congratulating him. Not that he gives a shit. He's busy. Also, I'm on top of the thing. Um... Like especially when you reach a size like that you can't read comments are you crazy also the comments are mostly just like i watched this video like uh, this you know the bot comments that are like my videos are so much better than pewdiepie and they're just trying to rage bait people and clicking on their channel to watch their videos i don't know why bots are so prevalent man I mean, because it's a, a, an economy of attention, right? So if you can scale up your, your like, fishing attempts, you can uh, make more money, I guess. That's how it goes. I get it's, like... <laughs> it's so funny. Um, <laughs> like, uh, I remember... <laughs> I remember my mom... <laughs> Sending me a message like, oh, I, I opened one of your video and I saw some really nice comments. It was like someone saying you changed their life. And um, 
and like they 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 really love your videos and i was like what's their name like free robux on my profile <laughs> and sure as hell i checked there i checked the comments she was talking about and it was <laughs> a fucking free robux on my profile just scam comment like i don't like it's kind of fucked up man that they that they have infiltrated that they are like i mean i guess it's better to have that type of comments than like the uh like PewDiePie's videos suck. Mine are so much better. Click on my channel to find out kind of bullshit. Uh, but it also like makes you so jaded about positive comments. Because whenever I see a positive comment from like a channel with a check mark, I just immediately assume it's some kind of like a uh, bot comment of a, like a, a verified channel that's just posting on every single channel on the entire planet to try and get people to like click on their channel like oh this per person with a verified badge watch my watch one of my favorite youtubers let me check them out as well like i like it happens so often to the point where it kind of like <laughs> ruins the youtube ecosphere like you can't you can't say something genuine anymore or you can but it's hard to pick out the genuine stuff from the just bots and bullshit like it is a. Uh the weird weird world we live in here the weird youtube universe boom isn't it extremely weird that i get to talk way more about interesting stuff on a video that isn't even live than when i actually live stream you guys on the stream gotta ask more questions you guys gotta get me talking and i never shut up i mean i i mostly like because my streams are very like orchestrated because every time every stream has a plan like never go into a stream like i'll just turn on the stream today and then i'll feel i'll see what i feel like playing and i'll just do whatever like that's not how i stream like i stream short on on like average compared to some degenerate streamers that stream like 10 plus hours a day but to give myself credit I go into the streams with a plan and I don't just plan on launching the stream and watching like fucking YouTube videos for two hours and then seeing what I feel like playing after that and then doing it or just watching more react bullshit. Um, like I feel like it's way more valuable, way more quant quality over quantity than the average stream. And it also really helps me with making YouTube videos, like having a plan. I used to not have a plan, and it would be really hard to make YouTube videos, especially at this fucking frequency that we got going on here. Um, like, if you just got... Because when I, when, we, when I was first playing Phasmo, all my videos would just be... I would just play the game, and if something interesting happened, I would make a video out of it. But I was just like, every time I would launch the stream, I would just count on, like, Wow, I sure hope something interesting happens today. <laughs> Uh, which isn't really a reliable way to get two videos per day stress-free from a stream because because I upload two videos a day every day It also means that every on, on average every stream has to give two videos Right, that's just the way the world works um, Which isn't always the case but that's because of the law of large numbers because I do so many streams of like some streams give three, some stream gives one. Rarely a stream gives zero videos. Uh, if just something didn't work out. So on average, it's been going strong for like three years now. For three years straight, I've uploaded two videos every single day. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's a lot of videos. <laughs> That's more than a thousand videos in three years. Holy shit. Oh, that's like far. That's like almost 2,000 videos. Dude, math. Holy shit. Uh, what am I doing, by the way? I've completely lost the sauce on this one. I want to go to the deep sea. Where the fuck is the deep sea? I can't find it anymore. Oh, no. That guy's going to come out. You peace. Get out of here. No. No. Tinker. I'll just leave that there. I don't care. Okay, we need to go down. We're only at 32 meters. That's not deep enough. We got to go deeper. We are getting a lot of freaking side resources, though. Holy shit. I hate these guys. These guys killed me last time. They ruined my life. <clears throat> They're evil. The problem with Dave the Diver sometimes is that 
I tend to record two episodes back to back. So then one episode, I talk about everything I want to talk about. And then the second episode, I'm like, what am I supposed to talk about now? I already talked about everything in the previous episode. <laughs> oh boy. Get away from me. I just want to go down. We need to get oxygen as well. Well, I already got oxygen in my inventory. Uh, I'll get more of these guys. We are going to get freaking rich as hell. Hey! I would love to find another sailfish. Come on. I don't think I'm gonna get the last one here. We still got a bomb. Uh, just go straight down. We gotta find it eventually, right? <clears throat> boom, boom. There we go. I don't... I think these are not even tuna, so I don't really care about that. Those guys are just big boys. Yeah, but YouTube is fun though. Like, sometimes you'll just be having a bad day just because you woke up, you like didn't sleep enough. And then you just like upload a video and it'd be just one of 10. And then you'll be like, all right, my day is good again. <laughs> Which is literally what happened today. I don't know why people clicked on the video so much. Uh, today is the day with the, the ghost gambling for the five year, five year channel birthday. What the fuck am I saying? Uh, we did a very long stream for the five year anniversary of the channel and there at the end we did ghost gambling and that video i just uploaded it uploaded today and it got like fucking eight eight thousand views in one hour which is very much above average it's been a good week overall for videos and i got so many bangers in the hopper as well I still got a mortuary video uploading. Still need to do visage though. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get to that. I'm trying to get as many videos done as possible before the Phasmo update. I don't think I'll get the, the visage though. I mean, if you want to watch visage, you can watch it on the VOD channel. I almost don't even recommend that though, because it was a, it was a, it was a trip. Let's say it. Speaking of trips. I'm going to say this again tonight during stream because it was hilarious, but I don't know how you guys consume. I know people just watch TikTok, TikToks and stuff, and that's how you get like news or something. But my phone has like freaking honed in on how I consume media and it like knows me in and out. And I have like this panel on my phone where it just keeps sending me like random news stuff and also just like tiktok articles which i don't know if you know the world of tiktok articles i know the world of tiktok articles because i'm a, i feel like you expect if you hear about it that's something only for boomers but no it's for people like me that don't actually want tiktok but they do want to hear about funny tiktoks sometimes so the way i consume all my tiktok content is just some random intern has like wrote an article about the contents of a tiktok it's like it's it's a weird world if you don't know what it is you're probably like this guy is crazy but yeah it, it, people watch that stuff or people consume that stuff um and one of the articles was hilarious titles of movies that were translated uh, that the french people translated from english to english what does that mean example the hangover movie if you're french you're you are gonna laugh at this because you know but the hangover movie was actually called a very bad trip in french <laughs> it wasn't called hangover they translated it and instead of translating it to like what the french word for hangover is they translated it to a very bad trip which is just hilarious to me uh and the rest of the article, it was nine, nine titles of movies that were changed from English to English. And the whole, all of the other titles were so stupid. There was like one movie that was like, not another teen movie or something was the movie title. And in France, it's called Sex Academy. Like what the hell guys? Uh, and literally every movie was like that. Every movie was like, just a normal title in in English. And then in French, it was like sex time or sex beach or like, what the hell? Sexy, sexy spy, <laughs> like that kind of stuff. 
And I asked uh, a French friend of mine, like, I sent the article and I was like, what the hell is wrong with you guys? And she was like, yeah, I always thought that the that uh, Americans were just so weirdly horny, but it turns out we are the weird horny ones because we are titling the movies that way. And I just fucking died laughing because I was like, oh my God. Imagine being a French person and having no idea what the original titles for these movies were. And you just think that all American movies are completely fucked up because they all got like sex and sexy in the title. <laughs> but instead it's just your own country making up the names and titling them extremely weird. Oh man. Man, that's some good stuff. All right. I think I'm getting out of here. I think I'm not never going to find how to get to the deep sea. I'm sorry. I'm too distracted to be able to find the deep sea. So we're just heading out of here. Because I want to know what the... What uh, what is this cobra got cooked up for us? I, I tried to find it. I think I got to go more to the right or something. But I'm just... I'm lost in the sauce. That's that's for sure. Oh, we got a rank one. Definitely don't want to keep that. We're going to chop that up and sell it. We got this guy. <clears throat> Look at that. Marlin meat. 27! Holy shit. Nice. Okay, what do you got, Cobra? Talk to me. So, what is the idea you mentioned earlier? Oh, that. What if you infiltrate the sea blue base and retrieve the mechanical part? Me go to their base? Sea blue folks were scouting the area using underwater drones at night. Follow those drones and you will find their base. That sounds very dangerous. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I will prepare an infiltration suit with camouflage patterns. It will hide you from plain sight at night. No guarantees, though. Mm. Anyway, it's not dark enough yet, so I will see you later when I close the bar. When you close the bar? I thought I did everything. Okay. Um, we should send these people. Let's not redispatch them to this. Uh, we should send them to something else. Also, it's D-Day. Uh, gotta go to the fish farm again. God damn it. Maybe I should expand the fish farm so I don't have to check it so much. I can just let them stack up more fish. Is it just overflowing all the time? Wait, not more fish. Hmm. How much does it cost? Expand. Okay, this shit's cheap. Um, I think I expand all of them. Yes, there we go. Alright, so we have basically expanded everything except the night area. Uh, how much? So it was 74 before, now it's 50. Nice. So we did it quite a bit. Is that a freaking. I thought it was a meat buoy. <laughs> but it's just a buoy. Uh, okay, here we go. We go to the farm. Probably weeds at the farm, huh? But they're gonna talk to me because of the the VIP. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hi there. Oh, it's just battle time. Love the music here. <laughs> His fucking mustache. Hello, everyone. This is Yui from NDC Station. Heart. How do you pronounce that? How do you say heart? Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, today is the day of the showdown in Challenge Diamond the Chef. <laughs> Bancho, are you ready? Of course. And Wang Pang. Oh, I can't remember the first fucking name. Wang Pang. The same. I can't wait. Excellent. Then let's begin Challenge the Chef TM show. Now. I don't even know what I said there. Oh. Damn. They're, they're speaking sim simglish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Asha will compete with a famous chef in a new TV show. Let's bring him the ingredients he asked for. What? Excuse me? Chop. There? Okay. I, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> okay, prep an onion. <laughs> you gotta smack it as well. Drop it. Drop it. Face bar. Drop it. Perfect. He's insane with it. Prep the stargazer. I feel like he should do that, but okay. Uh, oh god. Face bar. You gonna do it again? Hold A. Hold S. Old A. No, I clicked the wrong button. Uh oh, I'm stupid. That was my bad. That's not gonna be perfect. We're gonna fail it. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? 
Okay, perfect. Anyway, what the hell? Code the fish with starch. He did so much for this game. Uh, uh, rotate. I'm rotating, right? Is this not good enough? What are you doing? Oh, there we go. Oh, God, I got to do this so many times. Okay, there. Help! Go faster! Ah! Oh, uh, wrong button. I'm sorry, Bancho! I'm busy! I'm doing my best out here. Why are you making me do this? Are we on TV too? Am I being filmed right now? Ah, we're almost out of time. One more. Go, go, go. Okay, perfect. Fry the fish off. <laughs> what? Oh, here we go. Hold space bar. Okay, and I gotta let go at the right time. Here we go. Oh, it's getting there. Oh, it's getting there. And boom. Look at that. Perfect. Stir fry the ingredients with something. Oh boy. Uh, rotate. I gotta. Oh, gotta click. Oh, I see. We gotta flip them. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> Dude, look at this shit. It looks yummy. I'm rotating. Boom. Again? Oh, no. There we go. Damn, I made the dish. You didn't even do shit. <laughs> okay, I guess you made... What the fuck? This looks like Sasuke. Disgusting. <laughs> Is he gonna like it? Or did I mess it up? <laughs> the fucking cat. Let's go! We win! <laughs> what the fuck? That's incredible, dude. Oh, I love it. Oh, we got 99! Look at that. Damn, dude. Oh no, I lost, but I am the best chef in Hong Kong. Of course, your dish was excellent, Wong Pang. You used the finest ingredients for flawless taste, but it wasn't good enough to impress me. But Bond shows this. It gave me a whole new experience with a fish called Stargazer. To be honest, it was my first time tasting the fish. Bond show gave me a perfect blend of the interesting and fresh taste of a Stargazer and the classic taste of the sweet and sour sauce. If we're talking only about the taste, yours was better, Wong Pang. But I highly admire Bond show's attempt to present a foreign taste in a familiar way. My final verdict is Bond show. Congratulations. Oh, Vincent clearly explained the reason for his decision. Boncho wins the match. Boncho, what are your thoughts? Oh, my thoughts? I wanted to present the... Thank you, Boncho. <laughs> the champion saves words for more action, and we love it. Today's winner of the Challenge the Chef is Boncho, the defending champion. What a competition. What a judgment. See you next time. This was Reporter Yui. I'm assuming you can lose that. You've messed up all the... That's why they give you all the mini games so you can fail it without, like... Making it scripted. Amazing, Bancho. You bested Wang Peng in this area of expertise. Hmm, who cares about nationality when it comes to food? Flavor is a fair game. Why do I have a feeling that the show will return again? But I have full confidence in your victory. Speaking of contest, I got some new inspiration for Chinese cuisine while preparing for the competition. I'll write them down. Help me try something new when you have time. Let's go more dishes. And a thousand gold? We only get 50 followers? How small is this show? Okay, we need to send, first of all, send our staff to get dispatch. You're gonna go get, I think we need black vinegar, right? Let's really look it up before I just sent them off. I need, oh, wait, max level. Oh, finally, we can make the goblin party meat thingy. Um, Wait, I can make it. Where is it? Down in the no-go section, this one. Uh, Oh. Wait, I thought we needed something for that. Wait, what is the dish that I sold before? There was like a really good dish with black vinegar. This one. No, I'm lost. I'm lost in the sushi. Where is it? Was it still here? This one is... Holy fuck, dude. 
<laughs> that was amazing. Uh, oh, this one. Yes, black vinegar and olive oil. Okay, black vinegar, olive oil. That's where we go send them to get. Um, so you're going to get some dispatch black vinegar. Chat, you get like so much of it. And then I'll send literally everyone else to get the other ingredients. To get the olive oil. Uh, you, you, and you all go get olive oil nice and then we just make that dish over and over and over again that seemed good we have we can so have so many staff here what the fuck okay do we have we could hire you you're actually insane okay uh besides that we need to put stuff on the menu so let's put this one i guess here we go so this also uses olive oil luckily we got it we got 43 c grade man okay Throw it on there. So we don't want to put too much on here because this is going to be an expensive day. I guess we throw one of these on. Sure. We can't enhance this more. I don't think we're going to make this in two. I mean, I think doing it once is worth it. Enhance it. Show me the hand. There he goes. Loosh. He, he is he's such a wayward words. Um... Hmm, we could upgrade again. Make it. F we basically doubled the. I think it's worth it because we're actually selling this dish so often. We literally just need salt, right? I think this is worthwhile. Even though it's only. Yeah, it doesn't sell too much. All right, we'll just throw it on there. Uh, auto refill that in a sec. Uh, let's see. What else do we put on the menu? I don't want to put too much on there. Bluefin tuna. Hmm. We don't have any cool dishes. This is for the festival later. So, man, these dishes do not sell for shit. I just have too much good stuff. I'm suffering from success. Um, let's throw this 200 dish on there. That seems good. Another 200, sure thing. Hey, this actually makes two. I think with this, we already got enough. Should I even auto supply this? I think I should auto, auto supply the 200 one. Auto supply you. These can't even be auto supply. Sure, but auto supply everything. It's fine. And then we go. I think we we will be doing just fine. Oh, our phone! Wait, my phone, my thing, my 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 little thingy is is. Can I open my phone during during work hours? Wait, I thought it was giving me like a like an alert. Where do I get this egg, dude? Where do I take care of the egg? He's got to die. <laughs> it, it, I saw a notification for it. Uh, I know I was on top of it, probably. It's It said it was linked to Marinka. It's right here, but I can't interact with these. I'm stupid. It does. Am I blind? It no, it doesn't say Giao anywhere. The app does not exist. Is there a second page? Is it an eco watcher for whatever reason? Deliver this, might as well. Literally in the middle of a. <laughs> oh, we got so much. Hey, we're getting all the research points. Holy shit! I did all. I never handed any of these in. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let's go. Sure thing. We're gonna unlock something. Well, almost. Okay, we just need 15 of this and we need one more head and then we are good. I guess I could deliver this. Okay, I don't even know if we need to do this. Uh, I do not see it. I think the guy's gotta die. I think he's fucking dead. Because <laughs> it has a little... It has a little notification, but whatever. He'll just die. There's nothing I can do about it because I don't know where to find it. Go, 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 go. Oh, boy. We can actually give all these people what they want. And I can do the wasabi. I can do the wasabi before that beer, right? I hope so. I sure hope. I hope I can. Go, go, go. Nice. You know I'm insane with it. Everyone's going to be so happy. We're not making as much money as before, but that's because we don't have the like crazy dishes on. Wait, it's not even setting the... Wait, I made a grave mistake. Why are you guys so dumb? 
Wait, we only sold... My other dish is too good. <laughs> okay, well... Okay, at least one person is buying it. My other dish is too good, so they keep buying it. They didn't buy the expensive one. Okay, so you gotta put stinky shit on there. When you... <laughs> I get it, okay. You gotta make sure you don't put too many good... Uh, things on the menu if you want to sell a specific dish that's fine though come on can i get it no i was right there you have no patience <laughs> dude that's what happens when you watch too many tiktoks okay uh this is our like best selling for dish for sure that was just my bad for auto supplying that dish i shouldn't have auto supplied it if i wanted to sell 10 of the other one but that's okay uh dave you're here it's so dark. Are you sure there's something there? Hey, 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 just put on this infiltration gear. It will help you stay unnoticed. Oh, boy. Oh, I feel like I am being a secret agent. Dressed for success. You look ready to enter Dark Moses Island and that. Well, into the water now, you will see roaming drones underwater. Follow them unnoticed. I bet they will lead you to Blue Sea Blue's base. All right, leave your weapons here. What? You want me to infiltrate their base unarmed? Sea Blue runs a tight security system with sentry drones and sensors. If one of the drones detects a weapon, they will alert the base immediately. This is a covert operation anyway, going in secretly and coming back with a mechanical part. Simple, right? What am I doing here? Skipping sleep. Okay. Dude, look at that moon. That's pretty. Can I help the... I can't even open the menu. Well, I guess my egg thingy is gonna die. I don't know what they want. It's got to be somewhere. Maybe I should just look it up, but I don't know. Okay, follow the drone. That must be one of sea blown sentry drones. I should follow it at a distance. I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky? He's going to look behind him. You got to pretend that we're a fish. Bloop, bloop, I'm a fish. There's so many of these. I don't even have a weapon, so. Got to be careful. They're gonna attack me, right? These attack? No, they don't. Those attack. Oh, God. Oh, no. There's a treasure shark. I hate that guy. Oh. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Almost died. Oh, drone's getting away. Yeah, because I had the... There we go. They put... They fucking scripted all these fish over here. Get away from me. I can't fight. I should move like this so you can see. These are almost invisible fish. Oh, there we go. But it's been... Oh, this thing. <laughs> yes. A hidden entrance. We've seen this before. I should hurry before the door closes. Go, go, go. Definitely gonna get kidnapped in here. Oh my god, this angle. <laughs> the secret base. They're freaking. They were underneath us the whole time. How exactly is my thing like a spy outfit? Just because it covered up my nose? Isn't this too big to be a hidden base? What are these facilities for? <gasps> they are. They are killing fish. Machines process processing dolphin meat. They're dolphin hunters. RNC blue environmentalists. What in the world are these for? These for? I must find some mechanical parts for now. Of course, the plot thickens. Get special suit components from the top floor. Be careful not to get caught by soldiers or cameras. Oh my god, it's a fucking stealth game now. We're gonna do the snake thing. Oh, I thought it was going in the box. Never mind then. Uh huh. Oh god. Fuck. Where's he going? You're walking all the way over here. I'm a sneaky boy. And then we follow right behind you. Go up the stairs. Dude, what a ninja! <laughs> they turned it. To, they turned my game into a stealth game, man. Oh god, go up here. Yes. Oh no, there's a camera. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm assuming I'm safe behind this. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? 
Look at this guy. He's so sneaky. The plot thickens. They are truly hiding something down here. Is he going to come over? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They don't see me. Go, go, go. And what are they? Do did, did they get, like, intruders often? Like, why are they so ready to fight, man? Go. Am I going to hide in the freezer? I'm hiding in the freezer. I'm going to... Oh, no. I'm freezing. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, the way he walks with his hands to the side. Oh, no. I'm hiding. I'm hiding behind the thing, right? Is this working? Oh, it actually worked. I'm just going up. Whew. There's someone here. Oh. Ration. Military rations in a tin case. It's hard to imagine what they would taste like. Can't I get an achievement for that? Oh. I lost my health. Wait, my, what the hell was that health bar <laughs> that just came out of nowhere? <laughs> I've never seen that health bar before. Keep the sea blue. Oh, it looks like an office. It looks like it contains some mechanical parts here. Man, I miss my warm, clean bed at home. Dude, they got a friggin... <laughs> Excuse me. Keep the sea blue poster. I can't believe what they've been doing behind everyone's back. It has a drawing of the sea blue research. Wait, isn't this me in the picture? What the heck? Four component of the sea blue tech suit. It looks quite complicated. Good, here it is. Let me take it. Oh boy. What the hell? Screenshot it! They're hiding something! <laughs> I'm dead. I'm gonna get shot. How is he gonna get out of this? Is he gonna jump? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, this is a freaking gold mine of screenshots. <laughs> get out of here! Holy shit. <laughs> That's so good. What the fuck? You okay? Little buddy? Big buddy, actually. Oh, Dave, you came back in one piece. Well, I sense a lack of trust in your voice regarding my survival skills. Aha, come on, take a look at this thing. Sea Blue's mechanical part in pristine condition. Why didn't you warn me of the armed pirates? Honestly, I didn't know of their presence. Anyway, I found many pieces of equipment used to process and freeze fish at Sea Blue's base. And I believe they caught some dolphins as well. Isn't Sea Blue a group of environmentalists? Doesn't that make them hypocrites? Knowing they have been exposed might make them more dangerous. You better be careful. Anyways, get some rest. It's getting late. I will talk to Dr. Bacon tomorrow. What the hell, man? I mean, obviously something was off with them. They literally blew up shit every time they, they fought me. Is it gonna be Storm? No, it's Sunny. Okay. I was hoping there would be another boss. I went home late and couldn't sleep well last night. Aha, uh -huh, you did a good job last night. Let's go report to Dr. Bacon. Hey, no. Hey, Dave. I heard that you acquired an intact mechanical part. Yes, with difficulties. Here, take it. Yes, this is it. Good job, Dave. Okay, now I have everything I need. I will go to the lab and craft a cold-resistant suit. But I am worried about the fact that the glacial area is unstable. I suggest you get a good weapon as well as a good suit. Ah, there was a new material developed at the lab. The dive knife can be upgraded as usual. You can upgrade it through eye diver. Upgrading the dive knife not only increases its attack power, but you can also mine minerals that previously could only be mined with a pickaxe. Well, then I won't have to look for the pickaxe. Ah, uh -huh, give me a day to craft a suit. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Good shit. We should really make like a basic rifle, huh? A cold resistant suit. I wonder what... Will look like like dr bacon said a suit won't be enough to protect yourself don't you think you should bring a weapon i think so too i will go ask duff okay you can enhance the diving knife nice 
Hello there, a wonderful Monday. Thanks to your help, we were able to get a special in the magazines we issued today. Please keep up the good work. I'll be back on Saturday, dude. It's going to be a long-ass time. The discovery of warrior parrotfish has increased magazine sales. Udo has sent you a monetary reward as a show of appreciation. Nice. The crops are all grown already, dude. They grow every fucking day, dude. Okay, first of all, we buy this. What is this? Oxygen tank expansion one-time use by 10%. 10% forever or 50%? I, I mean, I'm guessing that's just better. I'm assuming it's only for the... For the mission. Oh. Wait, did I use it? The slots are full. Wait, did, I drank something there. You saw that? You saw that animation? Um, okay. We got 13,000 still, though. We still made a lot of... I'm going to the wrong place. Whoopsie daisy. Still made a lot of money. Um, which is good. And we expanded, right? Oh, I need to give you guys the high quality food. Hi there, buddy. Look at that little guy. Look at that little cutie. I have high quality. Here you go. Oh my God. They're so adorable. Meow. Meow. Oh, look at that. He's tired. He is a sleepy boy. That's adorable. Um, okay. We go to the boat. I love how they're literally cleaning all fucking day. <laughs> how dirty do the customers make this place? Did I click the boat again? I meant farm. I'm so bad <laughs> at this video game. <laughs> farm! Goodness gracious. Go to the damn farm. Also, the, the sea thingy is tomorrow. Uh, well... <laughs> you noticed it. I didn't because <laughs> I just took a break. I came back. I checked my audio and I just realized that the game wasn't being recorded for some reason i don't know what was happening there so uh it was a pretty quiet episode so far i mean luckily i spend like i don't want to i could obviously like just scrap the whole thing and like replay and pretend like it's my first time but i don't think i can do that like i we talked about so many things i think i just i'm sorry we're I, it's only one hour of like a 20 hour series that has no audio in the background it's really sucks but um, I apologize. I did not realize that that was happening, but now it will never happen again because the thing with mistakes like that is that it'll happen once and then <laughs> you'll keep it in mind for the rest of your life. Okay, um, I'll grow the rice. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I, I am sorry. We're just, I'm just gonna move on. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't that important, right? I, I listened back to some of the parts and I'm mostly just talking. Like, obviously, it's weird that the game is not making music, but I don't know. It didn't seem that big of a deal. Like, yeah, the game is awesome audio. It's awesome music, but it's not like it took away from the rest of the experience. Like, the, the, the stuff that we were talking about or that I was talking about. Um, and I feel like I wouldn't be able to, like... I would have to redo it. I would... Like, the whole monologue about all the things and, like... <laughs> All the things I talked about, I don't, I can't, I can't redo it. I'm sorry. Uh, that's, that's the downside of off stream videos is that, uh, there's no one to tell me that stuff is not going right. <laughs> and then you only realize it after the fact. Okay. Let's do a bunch of garlic as well. And then a bunch of eggplants. But hey, the music is back though. And luckily, I mean, besides the... The, like, uh, spy mission, there wasn't really anything too majorly important happening. Uh, let's see. That's it. We need to give him nutrients at some point. There's no weeds, right? There hasn't been weeds in a while. Oh, this is gonna be tomorrow? The, the, the growth fertilizer is so OP, it's insane. Um, okay. Let's go back to the boat. Damn, it does suck, like, obviously. <laughs> I wish I would have recorded it with sound, but hey. Uh, it happens sometimes. Sometimes a person makes a mistake. Um, let's see. Let's see people's work. It's better than not having a, a microphone. Like, that's the thing with a story game like this is that you can't uh, replay it. Okay. Um, what's going on here? So we have the event in a day here. I think we're just going to go to the Sea People Village now. Because I was thinking, like, if I... Okay, and we're going to get the suit. Because let's go over here so we can see what the farm is all about. Yeah, because I, I was thinking, like, I could redo the episode, but 
it would just be a less interesting episode. Like even uh, I'll just put some uh, some low water sound in the background. Maybe people won't notice. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. What do we what do we got going on here? We have a lot of money. We need to help the farm. Because I wait. It's way more interesting to listen to me talk about stuff, I feel, than to hear, like, blah, 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 blah I'm a fish. Because there's not, like, there's any, like, talking in the background or something. There's no important audio. It just, it's just vibes. Hi there. How you doing? Oh, human, the seaweed farm is ready. I see you got seaweed seeds. Want to try planting them. Here we go. We got an achievement. Uh, you can cultivate many different seaweeds at Gumo's farm. Seaweed seeds are available for purchase in Gazin's seed shop. Okay, wait, how do I use the farm? Seaweed farm? Well, here we go. And cultivate. Seaweed- oh, we only have seaweed seeds. Can I- I guess? Sure, do that one. And then I need to find sea grapes. Okay. Oh, no, I should have made a phone call to Duff. I forgot. Whoopsie. I got a little too distracted with things. Um, that's fine. We can make a phone call in the in the afternoon. Uh, I we could do some gambling games here, but I don't think I want to. I just wanted to get the sea farm going, um, which now it is going. I didn't. I, and now we can get probably... F can we buy it from him? Wait a minute. Because he doesn't sell shit, does he? Hello, do you sell things? Oh. Corals and seaweeds can be found in even the coldest glacial area. Bring me their seeds and I okay. So you have to I have to harvest them now. From now on, we're probably gonna they're similar to how the fish worked, right? Um We're gonna get the, the fish now. Oh, uh, let's see. I think this is just one of those Yeah, we got many missions. I guess we could do this one. We got this deliver. Okay, this is literally just free money because I got so many of them. Uh, leg, I mean, I guess we're gonna have to find another skull, but sure, there you go. Um, amethyst store, we got that. I don't have this one. I'm not even gonna worry about that. Uh, now we got 1300. I'm glad I didn't spend it all on the stupid beluga of, uh, taxi or whatever. Now we need to... We can't go into the glacial area yet because it's too cold. Also, what do you got going on here? Hello? You got stuff happening? Long time no see. I got an achievement. Uh, Mima's restaurant open. Long time no see, Dave. I wanted to tell you that I am back in the restaurant business but couldn't find your number. Ho ho. The famous local dish of the village, Mima Seaweed Dumplings. Dumpling skin is tight enough to maintain its form even in the water. You should try some. Am I supposed to eat it underwater? Aha, why don't you try one now? I will make you a special version. I am always down for delicious food. Wait, what? Uh, oh, interesting. A dump, I can get this one for free? Oh. What the fuck? She's amazing. She's adorable. Thank you. Increase the base damage of our boon gun by 10% forever? I feel like I'm energized. Oh, it's not just a feeling, it actually energizes you. Each dumpling contains different stuffing, so take your pick. Oh, the effect of seaweed dumpling dissipates when you leave the water, really? Okay, well, we can do that before we go into like the glacial area. Mima's dumpling can be ordered twice a day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Dumplings give you a special effect that will last until you leave the water. See what the effect is in the pause screen. Cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have, I don't see it. Where is it in the pause screen? Where is it? Oh, there. Increase the base damage of our poon gun by 10%. Thank you very much. Look at how happy she looks. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Uh, wait, how do I get out of here? There. Okay, we need to do some fishing. We got stuff to do. And then we need to remember the call duff. I need to put that in my brain. I'm going to forget. There's no one here to remind me. What the hell can we do? This is a disaster. There we go. Um... We need, we, I mean, if we could find more sea grapes, it would be incredible because we found so much sea grapes before. Hi there, friends. That's a stargazer. Wait, we probably can make our special dish with the stargazer. Wait. Oh, come on. Wait, how do I? Oh, I need to. 
Okay, that does not work. I just wanted to test if it works. Because I can bop you with this, but that's... Wait, maybe I can uh, do this. Ah, fuck. Does that work? Oh, come on! <laughs> you dick. I wasted my sensor thingy. So paranoid that stuff's still broken now. <laughs> God damn it. That's the thing. I remember I did a video once on... Um, I remember I did it. Can I pick this up again? I cannot. I did a video once at Phasmo and then the audio got corrupted. Uh, and it was just like, ever since then, I've been so paranoid that I would get another thing to go wrong with the audio. And then lo and behold, it happens again. Like half a year later, feels bad, man. Hey, luckily it doesn't happen very often. Um, I don't, I don't think I want any of these guys. I mean, I think I'm just going to get out of here. I don't think these really i mean they do sell for quite a bit but i'd rather just go back to the i think i mean maybe i should just get them you know what let's do a fishing session where we just take the deep sea fish because we've been like getting a lot of the uh the regular fish it feels like almost every trip now we kind of get the same fish so let's spice it up and then we'll go to the glacier uh soon We'll be able to get even more different fish. Go, go, go. We're not waking up on my watch. Oh. Come here. Let's go. Blub, blub, blub. Oh, I don't have more ammo. I do have more ammo. You are cursed, man. You remind me of the stuff that we found in dredge which dredge such a masterpiece by the way i'm so glad i got to do basically two series on that i mean the first series i did on dredge was pretty fucked up because i didn't i did i played the game so wrong i've never played a game so wrong before in my life luckily the second playthrough was like a, literally an all achievements run which made up for <laughs> the disaster that was my first playthrough but if you have so if you have enjoyed the, the the dave the diver playthrough and um you haven't watched dredge you and then i cannot recommend it highly enough because it is very similar in it's like presentation from my part like it's a very similar style I mean, maybe not as podcasty as Dave the Diver can sometimes be. Uh, which I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad the episode where the audio got cut fucked up is a podcasty episode. Dude, imagine I would have been like, shoot the fish. Oh, it's another fish. Good fish. Like, that's sometimes how episodes like this go because they're just like so focused on the game. If I didn't have sound in an episode like that, it would have been a disaster, but... You can just tune out the game and just listen to me talk instead, huh? I wonder, do people... I mean, if you watch this far, you probably care more about the commentary than you care about the game itself. Or maybe it's a little bit of both. Or maybe you're just like, can this guy finally shut the fuck up? I'm trying to pay attention to the game. <laughs> I don't know if there's people out there like that. You can watch like any other YouTuber. We do, a, we do things slightly different here. We like to have fun. I don't think I need these guys at all, but we really need anything. We are like cruising. We would love to. Oh, what did I just do? Uh, I need to just use this. Why don't I use this? Um, we need to uh, get more sailfish if we can, because that's like the special fish for the dinner. We're not going to get a good. <laughs> I mean, I think you get bonus money if you sell the fish that's like for the specific festival. Or maybe it'll still be worth it to just sell the special fish, but... Up, up, up. Uh, I don't know, though. I, I think we got a good thing going, man. We got it down. Like the... That one, like, mega dish with the... I think that just needs rice, right? Every time we get a rice harvest, we just have, like, a 20k sales day that's crazy so 
I don't, I don't think we can expand the rice farm more. So this is all the rice we're going to get. We could buy more rice every day from Duff. Maybe that'll be worth... Maybe that would be worth the money. I don't know how to get the fuck out of here. I'm just lost in the sauce, dude. Ah. Is even a way to go? I think we're going even deeper now. Oh, hi there. Wait a minute. Hello, friend. What are you doing? How are you? Can we talk? Nope. He's just chilling. <laughs> are you even getting shit done? Uh, we need the opals too. And another skull, please. One skull, please, to be delivered immediately. Thank you very much. We need one more. Good stuff. I can't wait for Darkwood, though. Like, I haven't looked in it at all, into it at all. I think it is a game best played off stream. It's It strikes me, like, from the little bits I've, like, seen here and there and from the description people gave it. I would love to do another Project Zomboid series. Like, if I had more time, dude, I would do... I would play every game under the sun. I would make... I would upload five videos a day. <laughs> Because there's so many games I just, like, genuinely want to play. You're you're one of these guys. Get ready to be killed. Plop. Nice. We're getting, like, nothing from that, though, because we get a one star. How do you get a higher star? Stargazer. I don't know. Uh, replace that. I don't want it. Yeah, there's so many games I want to play. I, I've been wanting to do, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I want to do, like, series that I know are going to, like, absolutely fucking flop hard in the YouTube algorithm, but I still just want to do it because then I can, like... <laughs> oh, come on. I can, like... What do you call it? I don't know the English word. I can write off, write off my time. <laughs> like, I can pretend like it was work doing, like, games I, I want to play. Like, I, I've been playing a lot of Slate Aspire recently. I suck at it, man. I've been trying to win on Ascension 20 with, like, all the characters. I can win easy with Watcher because Watcher is broken as hell. I can win relatively easy with Defect because Defect is just... I don't know. I, I have played Defect, like, the most, I think. It's, like, my most played one. I like it the most because... I'm taught if you don't know what Slate of Spiders, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but uh, it's a card game. It's a roguelite card game. Um, and it is extremely fun. Like you build, you you start at floor one of the Spire, you climb up, fighting uh, bosses along the way, fighting enemies along the way, upgrading your deck, getting additional cards. Uh, and it is like fine tuned to perfection. It's like, one of the most balanced games I've ever played. Like, I I could, I, I was like st struggling to figure out, like, should I do, if I do an Ascension 20 series, that's gonna be a disaster. Cause like, I can't win all the time. Like I'd have to do recordings and knowing I was gonna lose and then like having to redo the recordings. I don't think, I'm, I don't think that strikes me as a good idea. I could just play it on Ascension zero and win. Because Ascension is, like, uh, difficulty level. Ascension 20 is, like, unbelievably harder than Ascension 0. But I could do that. Just to show off again. Because I, like... we I did that a while ago with Wild Frost, which was very fun to do. Uh, just playing some games I enjoy and showing them off. Also, I think this episode... Because I, I lost track of time because I had to stop and play the recording. Like, I had to... Stop the recording a few times. I think you're getting an extra long episode here, or maybe not. I'm not sure because I don't, I can't see the time of the episode anymore. <laughs> but I have no idea if it's even, if it's like going far too long. Uh, is there, oh, there's these crabs. We should get these crabs, no? Uh, can I explode you? How about you just get shit on? Come over here. Hey, come over here. Uh oh. I didn't hit him! Oh my god, it's not gonna hit him. That is so fucking stupid. Take this. <laughs> that didn't even do damage to him! I'm gonna become the Joker. 
That's so dumb. All right, whatever. Uh, we are almost full. I, I guess I do need that. I would love to get one tuna here at the end. And I'm not gonna... I mean, I guess I could... I don't often get those guys. Can I go up from here? Is the layout in this area is so... Confusing. Oh, yeah, we can go up. Nice. UV light. And I am so ready for the Phasmo update. That's why I also why I didn't want to like redo the entire recording because I don't think we're going to be able to finish Dave the Diver. I'd rather sacrifice an hour of audio than the whole series never ending. And can we fucking get an update for Shadows of Doubt yet? People keep, keep asking me like, when are you playing Shadows of Doubt again? When they get off, I'm, that's, I was going to say when they get off their fucking ass. <laughs> Obviously they're working hard. I just think they're prioritizing the worst things. Like, they, they have a devlog going where they're like, we realize that we should focus on bug fixing and optimization, which I'm like, no, <laughs> no, thank you. Like, bug fixing and optimization is not what I want from an early access title. Like, that's that's like the, the one year, like the last year of Phasmo felt like that, where the whole year was just like bug fixing and optimization. And it was like the most miserable year in Phasmo yet. It was also because probably DK has been working on the... Been working on the, um, the update for the console or like the console release for a really long time already. So that's why we got less content. I'm assuming... So I'm assuming it's going to be similar to how it's been for the future of Phasmo. Because, obviously, they're going to have to spend way more time doing, uh, like, bug fixes for console as well. And I hope they didn't underestimate it. Like, I, I'm willing to be optimistic that they didn't underestimate the, the thing that they are embarking upon. I was low-key hoping they would not do consoles, if I'm honest. I was hoping they would not do consoles until the 1.0 release. Just because... It's gonna take so much time away from other things that I'd really rather have. Um, but it is gonna mean that there will be way more people that can play it, which is always a good, good thing. Not just because my videos get more views if more people play the game, but also just because I know there's been a lot of people that have been waiting for the console release for so long now. I was thinking of buying an Xbox and somehow, I don't know if you can, I think you can buy Modern Warfare 2 on a digital store still, right? Probably. I was thinking of getting an X Xbox and getting Modern Warfare 2, the old one from like, I don't know, 10 plus years ago, because they have revived the, the live servers. And apparently it has it had it like, it had like one of his all time high player counts recently, which is kind of wild to think that old, because of like people coming back to it like all of a sudden the servers are back people are like we gotta capitalize on this before it's gone again so i mean that's already a good thing that's come out of microsoft buying activision what probably one of the most insane purchases of all time like i forgot the exact number but it was billions upon billions of dollars like to acquire activision which I don't know. Microsoft is, it's a billion dollar, or I don't know, trillion at this point. It's a billion dollar company at least. Um, and you, you know that once there's too many zeros involved, any company becomes like a soulless corporation built purely on capitalistic greed. Uh, but from my experience, at least, I haven't seen as much greed from Microsoft as is common with that much money being involved. So, uh, maybe it'll be good. Who knows? They're obviously still extremely greedy, but that's just because that's by default how corporations work. Oh, excuse me? Oh, hi there, Will. <laughs> He's back. That's the family of Humpback Will I met earlier. Should I take a picture? Yes. Let's go. 
Will we get a picture? Please pose for me. Oh, I need to get the... Yeah. Boom. That's cute. Splashing water. I didn't get the splashing water. Wait, what? Wait. Splashing water? Can I zoom out for more? Are they going to come back or am I done? Was that a one time? Oh, come on. Come back! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a one time try, man. I should have just taken a picture. I didn't take the picture because last time I gave up on getting the optional objective and there were people in the comments like, my bro really do be giving up instantly, huh? So I was like, I'll show those people that I won't give up instantly again. I should have. <laughs> Sometimes giving up is the best way to go. Alrighty. Um, oh my God, we got so much good stuff. <laughs> You got anything? We should call Duff. Let's call Duff now so we don't forget. Uh, call Duff. How's it going, Dave? It's been a while. What can I do for you? I'm going to explore the glacial area, and I am not sure if the weapon I have will be good enough. The huge glacier in the deep sea. I've heard about your mission. I planted a tracker in the gun. You could have told me earlier. But the one I can craft right now with the ingredients I have will not be that different. Unless I can get my hands on some new minerals. Dave, I know you frequent the Sea People Village. Why don't you look for new materials there? Oh, speaking of the village, I wonder how the Sea People Workshop is going. I should pay it a visit. Okay. Well, we got some new stuff going on. But I think that's where we're going to call this episode because I have no idea how long it is. And it was a little messy. So uh, I just want to end this here so I can start a new one <laughs> with a blank slate. So thank you so much for watching and getting through my mistakes of not recording the game's audio. Probably not as big of a deal as it is in my head because I'm like, dude, fucking professional YouTuber not recording audio. What an idiot. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the live streams, you can join this over at twitch.tv slash or click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one. Bye bye.